Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Eternal Flames. My name is Blaze. So, if you've noticed, we got ourselves a very interesting little setup here, and I've been looking at some of the older tutorials, especially for, say, like Terra Firma Craft. For those of you who have played Minecraft, but not Terra Firma Craft, you have no idea the changes that are in store for you. Not only that, but Terra Firma Craft has got some pretty large changes as of recently, which will affect our new series and our new Let's Play. To better allow you guys to either A, follow along, or B, maybe jump in and survive and thrive on your own, here are a set of tutorials that I feel that you guys may enjoy to help you get along in the world. Keep in mind that these tutorials are for beginners or people who just haven't done that specific thing before. If you don't like this particular tutorial, feel free to skip ahead or maybe go back a couple steps. This particular message will be in front of all the tutorials and we heavily encourage you guys to watch them if you want the help. If you feel you want to learn on your own, by all means go try to, or maybe you just don't want to listen to me. In that case, go take a look at the wiki, which we have down in the description below. Hope you guys all enjoy, and I guess uh, we'll see you soon. Five, four, three, two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back again. Now, we've been through quite a lot, haven't we? At this point, you guys have built all kinds of things with me. And we're going to take it another step further, but this one's going to be a bit simpler. A little bit easier than all the stuff we've done up until now. Or just really coming along as well. Okay, we're going to be going over brewing. And yes, before some of you start up, this is actually important and will be used for many things in the future that you're actually going to need. So, let's start off with how to make the barrel. I believe we went over this once before, but a refresher is not a bad thing. You're going to want some lumber, in this case I have some sequoia. As long as it's all the same kind, you're good to go. Now, we're going to go ahead and kind of make similar to a chest. And, let's see. Hmm, I feel like I've done something. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Silly me, I was supposed to leave one in the bottom. There we go. We've got a barrel. Now we're going to need a couple of these, so let's just go ahead and boom. There we go. And we'll get four of these, and oh, <laughs> I forgot. They chained. Oh, wait, no, these are empty. So we're good to go. Now, similar to the anvil, you can wear these on your back. If it's full, you're going to need to carry it on your back. If it's not, we can carry it around like normal. Let's go ahead and stick these. Hmm. I want them close by, but I don't want them inside. Let's stick them over here. One, two, three. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make ourselves a bucket. I believe this is how we make a bucket. No? Hmm. I seem to be forgetting recipes that I shouldn't be forgetting. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Once again, I'm being silly. I just got in the wrong places. There we go. Okay, so there's one bucket. Now, this is actually going to be important because this little wooden bucket, while it won't carry blocks, will carry everything else. So we can right click, get a bucket of fresh water, and we can kind of dump it in there. Now, as long as you're right clicking, it's going to empty out automatically without too much issue. Let's go ahead and we'll get this one filled up, and then we'll start some of the recipes. Actually, we could speed up this process, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll do like this. There we go. And we'll just get as many buckets going as possible, all at once, right? Now, you're going to need 10 buckets to fill up one barrel. For those of you who actually play other mod packs, that'll be about 1,000 millibuckets. So, we're going to end up making a couple trips even with this buttload of buckets. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and go fill that up as best we can. There we go. 
Now, once again, you right click, you can get some out. It looks like we're one bucket short. So, one more bucket should do it. We'll go ahead and fill up all these real quick. There we go. Fantastic. Huh. Seems I need to relight my torches. It always gets so dark around here if I'm not careful. Last thing we want is a zombie in our house, right? That'd be kind of bad. Just a little bit, though. Okay. Now that we've got this bucket filled, we can do a couple things with it. The cool thing about it is, is if we add certain stuff to this, it'll do all kinds of things, including brewing. In this case, we want to start with making some flux water. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we need two flux. And that's going to start making some flux water. Shouldn't take long. Oh, wait. Hold up. <laughs> hmm. What am I messing up here? Let's see. We want... We don't want that. We want... Oh. Hmm. It should be instant, and it shouldn't need to be sealed according to stuff. So, oh, it's two flux for each barrel. Oh, oh, there we go. Automatically worked. <laughs> I turned around away for just a second to double check my stuff, and it did it. So now we got lime water. You can actually use lime water for a couple different things, but we need to do something special with this lime water. We're going to make um, mortar. For that, we're going to need sand. Now, I'm trying to remember the proportions for this, but what we want to do is, let's see. For mortar, we need one sand per millibucket. Hmm, seems we got too many buckets worth in here. So, that's a thing. Oh, and if you notice, the outside actually changed. Sweet. Okay. So, we're going to need some more sand. Do we have any spare sand? Let's see, we got dirt. No. Doesn't look like we got any spare sand. That's a shame. Hmm. We'll just come back to this. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple more buckets worth, and we'll fill up the other barrel real quick. Now, before we go back out there, because we should have more than enough to take care of it, let's get our graphite out from our last tutorial and put some rye grain in. Now, this is going to be nice. Wait, how am I just now getting... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Anyways, now that we've ground that up, right, I'm going to show you another brewing recipe since we're kind of on the uh, hinge for doing this. Remember, it's one sand per bucket. Apparently, I didn't remember that, and <laughs> now we got kind of a messed up tutorial. Now, if you do a full thing of uh, flour, and you add it in here, along with this, there we go, whiskey. Why whiskey? Because I like to drink. <laughs> the key thing is, is you're going to have to seal it, and it's got to be one or 10,000 millibuckets for one flour completely full 160 ounces okay now this will work with a number of different things including apples corn all kinds of stuff experiment a little bit think of your basic alcohols maybe put some potatoes in there and get yourself some good vodka huh huh in the meantime let's go ahead and dump these in We'll go back in and we'll get a bit more. And then I guess I'll go get some sand so I can finish showing you that one recipe. There we go. So now that we've got that, that alcohol is pleasant to drink or you can use it later for another recipe. But that'll be for cooking. We're going to go ahead and toss some more in here. And we need one more. There we go. Okay. Now this one's also going to be important. This is going to be called tanning. Now this one is a little bit more specific because you're going to need one of these types of wood. Oak, birch, chestnut, 
Douglas fir, hickory, maple, or sequoia. Any one of these that is put into the fresh water will, in fact, turn it into tanning. So if we put that in and hit seal, we suddenly have tanning. Awesome, right? Now, I'm going to make a quick trip over to the coast. I'll be right back. As soon as I come back, we'll go ahead and finish this up, and uh, we'll see what happens to these other two. Okay? See you guys soon. Okay. Woo! Okay. <laughs> that was a bit of a trip. It's already daytime again. Let's go ahead and toss this sand in. And we'll seal. And there we go. We're going to get some mortar. All right. So, we got some mortar going here. We got some rye whiskey that's still not quite done. And we got some tanning. Now, these are going to take a little while. Let's go ahead and fast forward time a bit. Slash time. Set day. This will give us one day cycle. Oh, wow. I am completely drained. That ate away my hunger. But now, we have tanning. Whiskey is not quite done. I believe that takes two or three days. And we have some mortar. Ah, uh, this mortar is really nice too. Oh, if you notice, it ate up our flux and just gave us mortar. So, if we unseal, we can do this. Oh, wow. Gave us quite a bit there, didn't it? Let's go ahead and seal that up. Hmm. All right, we're supposed to stick sand in here, aren't we? There we go. So now, we have plenty of mortar for future tutorials, and I'll show you guys how to use that a little bit later. In the meantime, I might want to get something in my belly. <laughs> These oranges look tasty. Let's eat some of those. In the meantime, in the meantime, I hope this tutorial was a bit more useful for you guys. I apologize about the sand thing, but at the same time, this is more or less just to get you guys started. On top of that, if you guys notice, we didn't go over all the recipes. I will give you a link in the description below for pretty much all the barrel recipes, but I felt it was deathly important that you guys at least know the basics, and specifically the mortar recipe and the tanning recipe. Both of those being extremely important, seeing as you're going to be using them in the future tutorials here to come very shortly. I might even put them out right after this one, if I can get around to it. In the meantime, in the meantime, take care, stay safe, stay well. If you like this, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Let us know down in the comments why. Maybe toss us a subscription. Check out some of our other stuff. If not, that's fine. I'm glad you stopped by. Laters. I wish you were ready, whiskey. I want my whiskey, whiskey. Whiskey, 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 whiskey.